friends, how's it going? Today I'm going to teach you how to make some primary number cards at home so that me and you can play math games together or so that you can play some math games at home with your family to practice learning while we are not in school. It is super easy and you're only gonna need three things to make it. You need paper, scissors, and something to write with. That can be marker, pen, uh, pencil, anything you like, colored pencils or anything. After you make these, you'll be able to look at my other videos and play some games with me or at home with your family. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is fold your paper. I'm going to fold it into, I think, four or five sections. So we're gonna fold it like this. You can go ahead and take your scissors and cut it into about four places. So one, two, three. So now you have four different strips of paper. Now you are going to cut each strip where you folded it. And boom, you have your cards. You're going to do that same thing with these and then when you're done you are going to write on them so for example my first card i'm going to write the number one and then you want to draw a picture to help you remember what number it is so i like let's see i like flowers so i'm going to draw one flower there you go there you have it my one what comes after one two i can draw two smiley faces oh not the best smiley faces but i tried two three draw three lollipops three and then you know what number i almost forgot about i almost forgot about zero can't forget about zero the hero can we so there you have it you're just going to keep going until you fill up all of your cards you should get to i think let me see four eight twelve you should get to about 15 with just this one piece of paper and now that you have made your cards Check out my other videos so you can learn how to play some games just like we did in school or play with me through a video. If you play any of my games or follow along with any of my videos, please be sure to comment below. Tell me how it went. Post your work on Facebook, on Twitter. If you're one of my students, please post anything you do on Seesaw. I can't wait to see all the great work you do. I hope this helped you at home. I hope you had fun making this craft. And as always, please like and subscribe so you don't miss any videos. I'll see you next time.